My name is Adam Mott and I manage sustainability for the North Face. We're here at Everest, which is one of our biggest suppliers in Taiwan, and a big initiative for Everest is energy efficiency, which is also something that the North Face looks at. We're looking at their coal-fired burner here. So the water that's being recycled that comes back from the dyeing process is mixed with fresh water and it's actually piped into these coils here. So if you look at this system right here, it's almost like a radiator. You have this warm water coming in. The water heats up to about 100 degrees from the exhaust coming from the boiler. And then the water is piped into the boiler at a higher temperature, which ultimately requires less energy to heat that into steam and start the process again. This coal burning process at the boiler, that excess cinder that comes off of it, and that cinder is turned into brick. So the minute Conrad saw that, he rolled up his sleeves, threw some gloves on, and was just shoveling it. And you know, if we didn't pull him away, he'd probably still be making bricks. There's also a great opportunity here with the ash. The ash is cooled with water that comes in, comes into this tub, and is taken out and is used as part of the component of bricks. We have prevented 8.3 million pounds of CO2 from entering the atmosphere. That's equivalent to the CO2 generated if a car circled the Earth 790 times. The North Face Blue Sign, we are going the same way sustainability. We support each other. We save energy, so we also save the money. 5 million US startup per year. works with our mills to look at really simple ways that they can make changes. This is a perfect example of that. So this is a dye tank. This piece right here is an insulation unit. That's resulted in 10% energy savings for the dyeing process here. What's being done here is a really simple centrifuge. So you think about your home washing machine and your spin cycle. That's what's going on here. Basically they're using that force to get water out of the, out of the fabric before it gets dyed. Again, a really simple change, but these simple changes add up from an energy perspective. I think it's really interesting to see that reuse of energy, not wasting that heat, which ultimately uses less energy and makes it more efficient overall as a plant. The mills really benefit from a financial perspective because they're saving money and they're being more energy efficient. We're headed to Sunny Special, the fabric mill for the North Face. Rather than using oil as an energy source, they're using coal, but they're controlling it through this coal gasification process. So you're essentially using the gas from the coal gasification process to heat these boilers of oil and water to power the facility. Rusan is a really happy this uh, factory and now. They give us uh, some of the knowledge, how to make a choice of the machine, how to save energy. There are impacts to using energy, which corresponds to greenhouse gas emissions. We're really diving deep into that and making sure that we're being responsible to the environment so we can have a healthier world for people to play with our products in the outdoors. 